Hi there, uh, this is the iPhone 6s which uh, came to me um, that it has an issue uh, with the no display. The phone had already been to another repair shop and uh, it was initially wood damage. So they've actually uh, diagnosed the phone that uh, you just need the new LCD screen so it was originally came for the LCD screen replacement when you we opened it we found out that uh, there was no display but the phone was coming on so I would consider it as dead as there was no display on it so this is what I'm gonna put in the title that the iPhone 6s dead water damage no display for the 6s so the first thing I uh, did, I did, uh, I looked at um, visually if there was anything wrong with it. So I found on this um, connector there was uh, some black spot. Like uh, it seemed to me that the, it was not connected. So what I decided to do, I decided to check the continuity whether uh, it was making a beep noise when you check the continuity so I'm checking it over and over again because I'm looking in this schematic and then trying to test the points the looking in the schematics and trying to look at the points so with the heat with the heat gun I'm taking off the glue of the capacitors the f uh, filters the resistors and uh, so that you know the the pins are visible and so that I can test them clearly so once I've tested them, I've found one of the pins, number two, is not uh, connected. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just going to try and, try and uh, put a jumper wire from where, uh, from pin number two to where it's supposed to go. Uh, believe me or not, even though it's running on the 4X, fast uh, move it still uh, is 17 minutes long video it's uh, well I'm not amending this video uh, the reason behind it is just to show you guys that how painful this uh, repair was and uh, how long it took me to actually repair it it actually took me about a day to bloody fix the whole phone and uh, right there what I'm doing I'm just trying to um, scrap off uh, the black thing by putting some so uh, solder paste on and rubbing the soldering iron against it now I'm just trying to tint, tint that pin which is uh, kind of uh, impossible so what I decided to do instead I decided to tint uh, the pin from the top where the connector goes uh, the LCD connector goes so that it will be easier for me to actually make a jumper through there even though I could actually replace the whole uh, FPC but the customer uh, as usual was not well paid so I decided not to invest more money well I was thinking that it would be easier but it would turn out to be the most ridiculous job for the day so there we go I'm trying to turn the pin from the top and I was doing it I messed up some of the uh, the capacitors there so I'm trying to wick it off so enjoy my soldering skills uh, by the time I'm back uh, on the next thing then I'll uh, start my commentary yeah, well, right now I'm just heating the all the flux off. There we go. There's my jumper wire, which is, I struggled to bloody put on. It took me a long time to put that bloody jumper to that tiny little uh, pin. Then I decided to tint uh, the jumper wire as well because it would make it easier to joint. Uh, 
I don't know if you guys can feel that camera is like <laughs> I'm recording it underwater but it's because my heat gun it moves a lot while I mean it vibrates a lot while it's on this is where the camera goes like ooh. okay try to join the wire from a different angle ha 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 this is what happens when you use cheap quality soldering iron Okay, another attempt. No oh, success. Finally, I've joined it from one end. So I'm trying to join the next uh, end where it's supposed to go to, which wasn't as hard as it was uh, to join it from the f on the actual connector. So yeah, there we go. So uh, that one is done. Oh no, actually, it uh, did not. I mean, even the first one got loose. And I mistakenly again deliberately put some more solder on it, so I'm gonna clean it. That was pain. So it was clean. Well, this time it would be easier to join them because it's it already had made its place. Yeah, there you go, it's joined there, so I Finally, I decided to use tweezer, a uh, helping hand. It was quite useful, actually. I should have actually done it uh, since the beginning. So I put more flux on so that the bloody solder flows away from where I don't want it to be. seems uh, successful but let's see okay okay I think I've put more solder on there that I have to get rid of I don't know if all of you are going to watch the complete video, but um, I don't know. I mean, uh, you. I think you deserve to watch every single part of it, as you will be attempting one of these jobs. So that, I mean, you know what you're going to face. I mean, probably won't face as as hard time as I did, but. Um, you know some sort of near uh, I think some some sort of um, you know you'll get into an I mean, you know nearly the same situation okay so it's uh, kind of a joint there again and hopefully this will be the last time that I'll join them okay so that's our next part 
um, that was joined perfectly fine so the next thing was I saw some filters um, which were hanging out so I decided to replace them as well so the same policy as always that you remove the filter or the capacitor or whatever and then you reflow the pads so I'm just reflowing the pads there and I am going to solder it back on with, with the heat gun I hope uh, it's it this is not the time where it actually flew away because of because uh, of the air pressure yeah yeah I didn't stay stay yep there was another one yeah this was uh, completely off the board so I replaced that uh, as well yeah reflowing it as usual doing my tests whether the there has been a, cap, uh, a continuity or not yep all the continuity is there and this was the moment I could feel that everything is fine I guess so that's it I'm just gonna run my uh, final checks and uh, fire this thing up and let's see what happens I guess I've already replaced that capacitor and uh, I couldn't record that Okay, so the moment is off truth. So, you know, when you actually fix something or repair, or repair, or replace something, make sure you don't power it on until you're 100% sure that the job you've done is going to work because sometimes it can mess it up instead of uh, obviously fixing it. So, I'm just uh, reconnecting and everything okay this is the test LCD screen which I'm gonna put on because you remember uh, I soldered it I soldered the pin on top so I didn't want to mess up the ribbon cable so I've done that I've connected the uh, iTunes to check whether it is coming on or not so it was coming on so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna visually see if that connector has uh, pressed the solder down it had so I'm gonna try the new screen and voila you've got the display tada there is my customer a paying customer there so that was a success thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe and comment below if you like this video